Yo, 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 you get YouTube. Greetings and salutations. It is your boy, Uncle G. Woo, woo, woo. And if you notice, those of you who are observant, and most of you are, we have a guest in the booth with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite people on the planet, third rock from the sun. It is Katie Self. Yay! Hey, give it up for Katie. Woo! Katie, 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 I can't tell you how jazzed I am that you're here and coming through and doing a reaction with me. What has been going on with you, girl? Talk to me. Give me the- Oh, man. Uh, Things have been good. Uh, I've been- uh, Hello, YouTube. Hello, how are you? Hello. Um, We've got a fam out here. We've got a fam. Uh, uh, My name is Katie. I'm an actor and singer in Los Angeles. Um, How do we know each other, Katie? How do we know each other? Through both of those things. uh, Through- uh, little musical improv group we like to call roadies yes correct ladies and gentlemen (laughs) and okay i'm just gonna brag real quick katie has absolutely one of the most amazing voices i have ever heard in my entire life she carried us oh so many times on that improv (laughs) stage i cannot even begin to tell you uh she's amazing if you're in the los angeles area and she ends up getting back on a stage soon i hope you have to go check her out um, amazing, amazing live performer and uh, absolutely a gem, a jewel, if you will, uh, and uh, one of my best friends. So right back that's, at you. that's kind of our, our deal. And yeah. we've got some things in the hopper, hopefully a scripted podcast may be coming out. We'll, you yeah. know, put links in the description and in uh, the description, I'm going to put some stuff, uh, you know, Katie will introduce some things that maybe you can check her out on. Uh, after the video so we will uh, have that and make sure you uh, check out the description if it's your first time to the channel thank you for stopping by we really appreciate it uh hit the like and possibly hit the subscribe get at us in the comments you know we like to respond to every comment and uh we are just so appreciative that you are here hanging with us oh and there might be a third person in the booth (gasps) your cat's lovely name is duchess coco von yum yum duchess the duchess is in the house y'all but without any further ado we are about to get into this video and it is back on these uh acapella streets we are going to get down with our boy jeff castellucci from voice play those of you who rock with the channel know that we've done uh, a ton of uh, uh of reactions to both voice play and to jeff and this is the first time am i right katie that you're uh seeing this video and this That's is correct. A, I've never seen an this absolute before in my life. reaction. Same with me as well. We're going to do, listen, Katie is a Halloweenaholic, if you will. Uh, if you are at Universal these days in the night. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Katie is part of the Scare Crew. Is that what you guys are called? What are you guys called? We're Scare-icters. Scare-icters. She's a so, Scare-icter. Please come down to Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood. Uh, if you, you, at some point in the evening, you may catch me. Um, well, she may catch you. A, ah! a, oh, da, da, da. Uh, just don't get too close to the chainsaws is all I have to say. Mm, you have been forewarned, but now we're going to get into this uh, Monster Mash low bass singer cover from our boy, Jeff. Let's get into it. Three, two, one. Boom. The theatricality. Yeah, I'm loving these colors already. Okay. Okay, Lou. Am I right? Oh, I love a good face. Surprise. He did, the he did the monster mash. Oh, it's it so cool. It was a graveyard smash. They're like they yeah. all moving like a little bit fast. The choreo. He did the monster mash from my laboratory in the castle east to Uh-oh. the Uh oh, uh oh, Jasmine. The ghouls all came from the humble abodes to get a jolt for my electrode. <laughs> Special effects. 
Monster Mash. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was Woo! rocking all the digging right. the sound. The Igor on the strings back by his hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive. Transylvania twist. It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. And it's a graveyard smash. They caught on a flash. It's now the monster mash. Now everything's cool. Got to part of the man. And my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them. Has she been there the whole time? <laughs> I guess so. Let's dance, my darling. Shall we? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, bye bye. See ya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen, I can't help it. I was moved both emotionally, physically, uh, spiritually, potentially. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, look, we've done a lot of covers here, a lot of a few of Jeff's as well as voice play. Uh, I've been blown away since day one with his crazy, crazy like bottom end, which is insanely low. And yeah. um, the theatricality, everything that went into this, I it, listen in other. So they uh, one I did one I um, did a reaction to recently was the um, the song from The Hobbit, The Misty Mountain, <gasps> and he does all the parts. So you have to check oh, it out. And those no, of you who yes, haven't check out, uh, you guys have been uh, the rocking with us on the channel. You know that I've did that reaction. If you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. But um, it's it's insane to me the it's kind of otherworldly it almost sounds fake and you having such an extensive vocal background like talk to us a little bit about like the amazement of that what he's able to do and then also knowing that he sang the other parts right right, right. all those other parts were like nah. yeah uh, brilliant <laughs> amazing well so. yeah what'd you think First time listening to, to Jeff Castellucci. Yeah, me. I've never, I can't believe I've never heard him before. Yeah. So amazing. Brilliant. Um, I think that uh, both altos and um, bass singers yeah. get kind of brushed aside sometimes. Yeah. Because sure. it's sure. it, there's so much focus on how high you can sing. Right. But when you somebody can sing that low and right. have it be that clear and beautiful and oh, Oh, it just, it warms the cockles of my heart. <laughs> You've heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, a cockle warming. Um, <laughs> I, I, listen, again, we, we kind of said this at the top and we'll bring it back up again. Our love and passion is like engagement in, in entertainment. We love music. We love acting. We love all of the things that are around that, the theatricality. And that's one of the things that I was, uh, I brought up with, uh, you know, and those of you who were rocking with us a couple of videos ago, you know, our boy, Tim Morgan, also a good friend of, of Katie's. Um, we kind of talked about the, the beauty of this space we're in right now, the platform creating more than just, the delivery musically right because there was a time where you could you know you, you would hear somebody's uh you know track on the radio or you might get the mp3 or whatever but now 
there's a whole nother uh, sort of um, type of performer that's coming out. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my cat is rubbing against my I chair. Love I love it. Um, <laughs> a whole, a whole new type of performer who is trying to, well, or not trying to, but it has to incorporate the ability to make uh, like a mini movie, like a product, it has to be a production, right? Yeah. A, a little musical. Um, and so what did you think of that? His, again, your, your heart beats in the hollows in all hallows eve more than in all beat. hallows eve um <laughs> no i i loved that he was able to to create such great um different characters that are all in the song right um, perfect all very specific i think my favorite part of the whole thing was that, like his choreography was so interesting mm. and like like i think like i mentioned at one point like he it seemed like he did it really slowly and then sped it up to fit Right. Um, so that it looked really off and like like more, mechanical or whatever. Yeah, yeah more yeah. jagged even. Right. right. Um, but I loved how like at one point his like hand like broke and then yeah. like another hand broke and his, like every, pieces of him were breaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Amazing. It's it. Yeah. What a. That was the whole package. Well, speak again to uh, a little bit on on the vocal, like as a as a theater performer, because it's different, like being a if you're if you're singing a pop song or you know you're performing where the the uh the the primary reason you're doing it is just to you know vocalize mm -hmm. the even the arrangements on songs like that are different than something you do that's more theatrical this obvious had a different kind of almost a rappy hip-hop kind of vibe in terms of he didn't he wasn't singing as much the lyrics, but then again, in the original, right. there's not a lot of, it's not singing really. Right. Those parts, right? I, um, I need to, did he do the arranging himself? Do you know that? Sure I don't know. The, my assumption, my assumption is that he he did, or uh, I, I do remember uh, having uh, asked that question in a previous video and somebody mentioned that either he or maybe maybe his wife i'm not 100 percent sure somebody that is close to the voice play group uh maybe doing some of the arranging it might be him himself but it says so in in the uh description the of the video okay. arranged filmed performed and edited by jeff, by jeff. Oh. Mm -hmm. so what do you think about that so his, the, i i love people who can arrange music like this yeah 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 um it's it's such a talent mm -hmm. to be able to take a song like, Cause like when you have a song in your head, like you, everybody knows the monster mash. How right can it. you change it and make it unique to, to his own talents being right. able to, to be the main, the main line of singing. Right. right. Also that was where a lot of his bass came in. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And then creating these three harmonies that are so different from what the original was. It's a, that's a huge feat. Well, and also to that end to, for anybody to care. I mean, it's the Monster Mash. Everybody's heard it, you know. Right. And for you to be, yeah. able to is it something that. we're like? Are we looking for a new version of the Monster Mash? <laughs> right, right. I wasn't. <laughs> I'll tell little you that. Little did much. we know. That uh, we, little did we know. We um, needed it. I will say, also in that same vein, one of the things that we have enjoyed about the three acapella groups that we kind of mess with the most on the channel is Pentatonic, mm -hmm. um, Home Free. And then these guys now voice play and, and pentatonics, obviously they do a lot of pop and uh, home free kind of does uh, ballads, some, some like religious stuff and, and a lot of country and then voice play almost exclusively does like show tunes and things from the theater um, and, and from film, you know, uh, that kind of thing. And so it's interesting, like you said, playing to your strengths, mm -hmm. uh, creating something that's different. And one of the things that, um, Curtis and I have talked about is this idea that like when you do a cover it should not be as much imitation as elevation like it should be like this is woo I didn't think the song could do this kind of stuff to it you know yes that's a great point like yeah. do, uh, rather than um making it a lateral change right. like oh I did it but it's pretty much the same right exactly giving it something making it something that's and, more unique and not, to you and not necessarily competing not trying to say it's better than but just to say here's a fresh version of you yes know, different you know, yeah These give it a are, reason make it a make there a good, good reason that you did this yeah absolutely. Make it different. It's good. how did you feel about the aesthetics 
You know, it's the staging the whole night. I don't think he was doing, I don't think this is live. I think he recorded it. Yeah, so. well, that's him. That's uh, him and all four. Right, right, well, of course. All four parts. Woo, boy. That's when you have a stroke mid-video, ladies and gentlemen. What happened to you? There's a part of me that said out did loud. Did he split himself? It's not like he did this live. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Um, I like uh, that it was a question, though. Like, did, did he do this live? No, no, no. There's no way. You know, holographic uh, technology <laughs> is uh, is advanced. Ay, 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 sheesh, caramba. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but there is something to be said about how wonderfully like executed it was as a as a it, art piece. Yeah, it does look like it almost looks like um, I'm taking a look at it again. Yeah. I think it might be either either a set that right. he was in once and then yeah. shot the whole thing and then did right. himself again three times in front sure. of a green screen right. or the whole background is a green screen and there are props here and there. Right. It's hard to tell. But it's it, the same it, vibe again like for those of you who've seen uh the previous reaction i did to uh misty mountain i keep wanting to say misty mountain hop that is the Z led zeppelin song uh across the misty mountains whatever it's called smaug uh but anyway um you know he he dressed yeah. as he dressed as different hobbits and obviously saying all together but yeah there's just something Again, I think that's we're not shocked as to why these guys are so popular, right? Because there's something more than just because there's plenty of people who do covers in just it's them and a guitar player, kind of a stripped down studio style. And I think that's what makes this so much better is mm -hmm. they're like, hey, we're doing a whole we're doing a whole you know piece here. So it's a entire production. I mean, it just looking at the the production value itself, mm -hmm. because like because like something like this could be. Like I, I'm sure if I were to try to make something like this, it would look terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Terrible. Well, you but know, we did a like... we did a good job one time. Um, uh, when we did, we 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 put a video together, asking people to come see our show, and and all of us were in different f phases of tragedy. I was a homeless guy. <laughs> what were you in that you video? Were... I was just a. I I like made my mascara run, <laughs> and I was really sad looking up at the camera, like. Oh. There was that's a lot you, um, of there the were, arms of an angel starring that's right. Sarah McLaughlin as Timmy Morgan as Sarah McLaughlin. There were a lot of <laughs> that's right. There were a lot of bottles uh, in paper bags. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Listen, I just want to say how much I appreciate Katie coming through and rocking with us for this reaction. For all of you guys who stopped by the channel and and checked it out, if it's your first time again, thank you so much. Appreciate. Can I it. give one shout out? Yeah, absolutely. Please do. Uh, is that his wife that was laying on the couch through the entire video? And I don't know, but it's probably. I mean, it was, could be because uh, right. Like I again, I scrolled through the beginning. She yes. is there the whole time. Yeah. And uh, I, mad mad props to somebody who can be that low key and then that creepy when the time, <laughs> when the time calls for it. Am I right? Okay, fantastic. That was, that was a beautiful. Um, anyway, thank yes. you guys so much for rocking with us. Thank you guys for stopping by, Katie. Thank you so much for being willing to come into the the booth tonight and and do a reaction with us. Uh, yeah, I know thanks the, for having me. I know the people will be clamoring to see you again, so we will try and do that in the future uh, if we can. <laughs> And uh, again, if it's your first time to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Get at us in the comments. Get at us in, um, you know, hit us with the thumbs up and the uh, and the uh, subscription. Put us out algorithmically into the world. Um, and I will say that every time I listen to a little bit of voice play, I, you know, there's a smile on my face. I get a little happy. But right now, Katie and I are going to do something. We want the rest of your evening, hopefully, or day, whenever you're watching this, to be filled with a lot of love and a lot of peace. Throw your peace signs up! Throw your peace signs up, kid! I gotta, I gotta pee! <laughs> <laughs>I wanna run this kid. Shouts out to Curtis Magic and Uncle Jish. Yeah, when I do my lyrics, dog, I'm rapping for the faction. Hit them up online for the fly ass reactions. Yeah, out to him, I be giving mad love. Yo, shout to Uncle Jish. I'ma give you the plug.